Hi, everybody. I'm Good Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to Boardwalk Hall in the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the welterweight division. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Ricky Hatton's making his way to the ring right now. And he's doing so with a very business-like approach to things. Manny Pacquiao is assured that tonight is his night. That is as confident of a ring walk as you will ever see. Time to fight. Teddy, your expectations for Manny Pacquiao tonight? Well, what I always expect, first of all, that he's going to be aggressive. He's going to be friendly to the eye. A guy that you want to watch. And a guy who's going to try to get to you early on. How do you define consistency when you describe the fact that among this matchup, you're looking for guys to be more consistent. Which guy's going to be more consistent? How do you define that? Just in one area. When they get inside, for example, Joe, every once in a while, somebody takes a little bit of a break. Yeah, there's working, but all of a sudden, one guy's arm goes behind the other guy. I'm looking to see who keeps both hands free. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Halfway through this round, and you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Yeah, you got him. Let's go. Somehow he's avoiding going down here. All of a sudden, some good defense after a lack of it cost him. Pacquiao steadies the ship here now. Boy, he was hurt, but right now, back to what he's used to being. Yeah, but he better be careful about what he was used to being because that's what got him in trouble, being a little too offensive-minded, getting a little greedy. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Manny Pacquiao with a big left. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. A little head hunting with the right. So here we are at the end of the round. And this is the only chance these guys get to not throw at each other. Yeah, this is a break. You know, a lot of times fighters find their own way of taking a break during the fight, during the round. These guys really need this minute rest. Don't fight this fight. Gab and move. You gotta give me the double jab. You're not giving me the double jab. You're only giving me one jab at a time, okay? So a fresh round is underway, but is it a fresh fighter? Pacquiao's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? 
Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with. Because if he does, I think it's over. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Hooks on the inside. Patton's got to find a way to protect that eye. The cut has worsened. And if it gets any worse, you got to think this fight is coming to an end immediately. Well, what's going to matter is when the doctor finally gets caught up and looks at it is, Joe, not how bad the cut looks or even how graphic it is to the fans out there, but where it's at. The doctor will look to see whether or not it's the kind of cut that if it gets worse, it could actually be physically damaging to his career. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. What power from that left hand of Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao's making this so it's almost like a do-or-die attitude. He's going for broke after being stunned himself. Well, he feels like his back's up against the wall. He's got nothing to lose. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand scores. Close to him. Scored well up top. Final 10 seconds of round number two. It's all right, just keep moving. We saw Ricky Hatton rise to prominence, getting through some of the B-level guys among the 140 pounders. Guys like Joe Hutchinson, Cool Vince Phillips, and Ben Tacky, and Mike Stewart, and Super Ray Oliveira. But his coming out party, I mean, his big moment was the upset of Kostya Zoo. Yeah, you know, and it was an upset in a lot of dimensions. Not just that he won, he was the underdog going in there, even though it was on home turf, but a huge, huge upset that the way he won. Katsu Su basically gave up. He was broken down by the relentless style of Hatton. And round number three is underway. Circle, circle! the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Let's go. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Teddy, you saw that coming. You said he was waiting for that. Yeah, what he was doing was he was just pulling that shoulder back a little bit. Trying to throw that right hand, pull that shoulder back, be a ghost a little bit. Disappear on him, come back with the right hand. Blocks that belt line well. You're doing great. And he's holding. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Inside, inside. Super two punch combo by Ricky Hatton. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Well-targeted left hand by Ricky Hatton. Good flush shot upstairs. Fatigue is starting to play a major factor in this fight now. He is having trouble landing any of these punches. Yeah, and it's not because his opponent all of a sudden is a great defensive whiz. You know, he's not Claude Wayne. He didn't all of a sudden become an invisible man. It's just that he's not landing because he's thrown him from too far away, as you said, very tired. You gotta let it go. And listen. Doing good. 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 Very, very good. 
Some guys just get out of the gate well, and such is the case tonight. Teddy's scorecard has him up three rounds to zip. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. He needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. Left and right, left and right. Targeting that straight left hand. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Manny Pacquiao. Halfway through round number four. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Both men digging in with uppercuts. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. He missed with that headshot. Let's see some defense. Pacquiao's doing something that not everybody appreciates, but he is making his defense a major factor in this fight. Yeah, well, a lot of times people, you know, they only get it done on one end. What I mean about that is, you know, offensively, they use the jab, they use aggression to set up the offense, but he uses defense to set up the offense. He, he has a double-edged sword. And that's the end of round four. Teddy, let's discuss what's going on right here. His eye is completely swollen shut. What is the concern with the referee in the ringside position? Well, right now, they're worried about the welfare. You know, not just about tonight, but the future of this fight and what damage he will take now because he can't see correctly. It's their job to protect the fighter. You can't just move around. You gotta move your hands in there. Right, let's go. All right, listen, you need to create more counters, okay? Another round, will it go in another one-way direction? It's been a one-sided fight so far tonight. Solid left hand to the head. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Ricky Hatton. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, Keep steps back, inside. makes a miss, and comes right back. Just ate a big uppercut. He's in please, bad please. shape. Boy, he is shaky right there. He is on shaky ground in the ring right now. Able to dismiss that body shot. Teddy, this may come to a shock to many fans back in Manchester, but this fight could soon be over. The ref is taking a strong look at Ricky Hatton. You're right, Joe, and he hasn't been. Hatton has not been in these kind of spots often, but these are the kind of spots, the dog days, that you always have to prepare for. We're going to find out in a couple seconds, has he prepared for this kind of dog day? Manny Pacquiao's timing with his head movement has been ideal. We have not seen his opponent being able to land anything clean up top to me. No, because his opponent is not making the proper adjustments. You know, when the head is moving, the body's still there. You can't catch the head. Go downstairs to the body. You paralyze that head. You start to take that movement away. Before you know it, the guy's not quite as elusive. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. That's just like a little love shove right there. Just a little love shove to give yourself some room. Stay away from and round five comes to an end. 60 seconds. That's all they get. Just 60 seconds to deal with the fact that their fighter has an eye that's completely shut. That's all they need. I mean, that's their job. Now they got to show that they can perform under those conditions. Sir, sir. 
Okay, you're doing good. You're doing good. Keep it up, all right? The start of the sixth round. Pacquiao's out there for another round in a fight that he's been in complete control of so far. That's a clean shot, able to get in with the right hand. There it is! That is a big, big punch that just put him down. And right now, he's thinking about whether or not he wants to do this as a living. Just a flash knockdown there, Teddy. Yeah, I think he's okay. He looks clear headed. His legs are solid. He just went down. The in fighter went out, and now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. One, two, three, four, five. Hatton's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. They both decide to bring it. Ricky Hatton's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. I like what I see out of Manny Pacquiao right now. This is it right here. This is the way he should be defensively. You see the Pacquiao. He's got that nice, tight defense. Hey, 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 He's not go. letting anybody get inside there. Hatton's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Bang the body. What a hook by Seemingly in control, and now maybe out of control after getting hit there. But what you just said, Joe, that is really what's the end. Solid. Will Ricky Hatton be able to even get up here? Not the first time he's been down tonight. Pacquiao's bombs away worked again. Knockout victory for him. By way of knockouts, your to see a guy who can close the show and finish with style he ends up a knockout victor tonight and that's what his trainer wanted his trainer was even telling him step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible and they got it thanks for being with us everybody for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore have yourself a great night